Hey guys, my name is Rob Moore, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a circle mask or circle video with Camtasia 2020. This is useful if you wanna have a picture in picture type effect where you're demonstrating something on screen and you also wanna have yourself in the corner of the screen. So it's basically two video feeds in the video at the same time, one on top of the other, but you're hiding most of the top layer feed and only showing the part that's your face in a circle. Let me show you how it's done. So here in Camtasia, you can see that I've already got a recording where I've recorded the screen. Here is the, the screen track and also my webcam, which is here on track two. So these are two separate video feeds and we can deal with them each individually. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna enlarge this video feed here and I'm just gonna concentrate on my face here and make that the size that I'm gonna want it. And now what I wanna do is I wanna crop away most of the rest of this video feed. So let's click the crop tool here. And now let's just crop in a little bit on the bottom and the sides like so. Now let's bring it back down to the corner of the video like that. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to bring a circle shape onto the screen as that's the shape that I want to display my face in. So drop the shape over here and now let's enlarge it. Now make sure you press the shift key to keep the circle shape as you make it bigger. And now position it over your face the way you want to now to make sure that I do this right, I'm gonna bring the opacity of the shape down a little bit so I can see my face through it. I think that looks good. Now down on the timeline, let's drag this shape so that it goes the entire length of the video. Now the other thing I wanna do is I'm going to test the video and just make sure I'm gonna put the playhead at the beginning and I'm gonna drag it across and just make sure my face is always within the circle to make sure I've got it positioned the way I want it and that looks good. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this circle black in color and let's bring the opacity back up to 100%. Now the next thing I wanna do, and this is the trick here, you're gonna, with the shape highlighted, you're gonna come over here to this visibility icon and you're gonna right click that. This is something that's new in Camtasia 2020. You couldn't do this in any previous versions. So right click this and now you have track matte mode options. So we're gonna select the alpha option. And as soon as we do that, that applies the mask and now my face is in the circle. But now we're not quite finished. See if I highlight this circle, see how it, it's not connected to the video underneath. So what I wanna do is I wanna group them together, group the circle shape to the video that's underneath. So let's select both tracks, right click and click group. Now it looks like it's disappeared and that's because this track number three here, which is above the, the new group that I've created, still has the alpha uh, track matte mode on. So we wanna put that back to none. And there we go, it brings us back. So now both pieces are grouped together, the video underneath and the shape, and we can move it to wherever we want. We can even resize it if we like. And that's it, and let's just play this File a little bit. The size is gonna become huge. And now the other thing that's great about this, just a final quick tip here, is we can modify the properties of the screenshot part of the video underneath. So for example, if we wanted to put an animation on here, and zoom in, we can do that and just zoom into the bottom one while the top picture in picture is not affected. Generally, they give you a warning there, so generally I keep that below 75, like that. And that's how you create a circle mask or circle video picture in picture style with Camtasia 2020. For more helpful tips on how to use Camtasia 2020, consider subscribing to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos. And if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.